Oh, personal death penalty is a bit old school, isn't it, to be honest? You know, and it's all about clickbait, you know, death penalty, boats coming in. And I speak for people, it doesn't speak for me. It's stupid, keeping them alive and paying for everything they need. Oh, I've got toothache, get a dentist. We can't walk up and get a dentist. We can't get a doctor. That's life. Mm. How did you vote? I went down to the polling station, down um, Moor Lane. The local MP is called Lee Anderson, and recently he came out in favour of the death penalty. Um, what do you make of that? Did he? <laughs> what for? Load of rubbish, just leave it. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, I don't see it, but what is it? I don't agree with it because you don't know unprove it, unless prove guilty. Yeah. Yeah, if you can definitely prove it. I don't agree with it, to be honest with you. Put him in prison. Yeah, and then rot. Oh, personal death penalty is a bit old school, isn't it, to be honest? I'm like, fair enough, people may do crimes, but they don't deserve to be killed. Yeah. Killed off from doing it. I'd say it's not the 18th century anymore, is it? But Well, you tell how many people are in prison for murder. Mm -hmm. And it's costing over £31,000 to keep them. Mm -hmm. They get treated like, well, royalty. Mm -hmm. I was in having a bypass in the city. They actually got the surgeon up in the middle of the night to operate on a prisoner. To me, I think that's about as low as it can get. Are you married? No. No, you ain't got children? No. No. So you're not going to feel how a victim does when they lose a child, right? I think I can empathise. Hey, that, that, they're, living a death, they're living a death sentence all their lives, yeah. living that. Somebody's missing, like child, right? At birthdays, mm. holidays, growing up, getting married, mm. children. Right? They miss all that, right? Then and then the guy that's done it's out in about eight years, right? Mm. Or whoever's done it is out in eight years, you know, and gets on with his life. Birching would be nice, it's Saturday morning on Portland Square. Might stop us some of this thieving, petty thieving. Mm. Other than that, I don't know, I think life's quite well. But then the the, mur the murderer's family is doing the same thing. Like they will, they will suffer. They will feel the same pain as the, um, the, the victim family. On that, all you can do there is question whether you brought your children up to learn right from wrong, mm. don't it? Really, mm. right? So you've got to be a bit of guilt there. You've got to carry a bit of guilt, mm. right? But as you go through life, you've, everybody's got crosses to carry. It just depends. In my opinion, it just depends what sort of crime they've done. Mm. So I say, oh, if it's if someone's been round here and killed 46 people for no apparent reason, yeah, I think they should be taken away from the streets permanently. Well, if they just burgled someone's house and took a, a printer, no, there's no point having death penalty for that. He doesn't speak for me. He's too controversial, he's, he's lied. He, I don't agree with very little he says. There might be a bit. I think he does work hard in the community, mm -hmm. but... It just doesn't speak for me, and I, I find it quite embarrassing. Really? Yeah. When he's, you know, he's, he's on news, he's, he's all mm. over the place, and from Ashford, I do find it quite embarrassing Good. that people think that everybody around here, because I didn't vote for him last mm. time, I won't be voting for him again. Do, do you like him? Am I allowed to say no? You are allowed to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Although I vote Conservative. Mm. No, I don't. <laughs> um, would you be voting for him at the next election? No. He's got his point of view, he's standing out, he's, he's standing out, I think, what, for what a large, a, a large number of the people in this area mm -hmm. believe. Mm. But it's, it's not 100% if somebody's, you know, found guilty, yeah. you can't bring them back, it's happened, mm. it'll happen again, you know, and the... Lee Anderson says, oh, there's videos. People can doctor videos. Mm. There's nothing that's 100%. And mm. you, you can't do that. No, I don't think you can do that. It's the, and it seems just entirely... Like, the, the countries that still have the US... Excuse me, the countries that still have the death penalty, they're not countries that we, we maybe want to be like, like Iran or... Well, exactly. We call, we, we call them. We're, mm. oh, no, this isn't right. Mm. But in America, yeah. I mean, how high their crime is. Me and parts of the States, they've got death yeah. penalty. But I don't think it's made much difference. No. It's like it, it's, proven, it's been proven not to really exactly, be yeah, and it costs a lot more than mm. putting somebody in prison for life. But I think they should make prison sentences mm. harsher. Well, criminals already sort of um, sort of take the mick out of the police, just because you know they don't have gun. Local police don't have guns. Mm. They don't have 
what they have in America and other countries. So I think even even if they bring back guns with local local uh, police, mm -hmm. you know, the crime might be a bit lower. Yeah. Because um, it's a lot easier in America to get all the guns than what it is, you know, in England. Even though they still have guns in England, mm -hmm. but it's just a lot harder. Um, so yeah, I just think maybe um, it might be a good thing. I mean, maybe they can just trial it. I don't know. <laughs> in the US, in the states where they do have the death penalty, they have very similar murder rates to states that don't have the death penalty. So it's not really a deterrent or anything. I'm not bothered about the death rate. I'm thinking of saving the money. 32,000 for what? 20, 30, 40 triple murderers? No, mm. stupid, keeping them alive and paying for everything they need. Oh, I've got toothache, get a dentist. We can't walk up and get a dentist. We can't get a doctor. That's life. Mm. Well, I've always said that I'd be all for uh, death penalty. Mm. But as far as I'm concerned, it's me, it's a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Medieval. He's walking past in such town centre. Medieval. It's medieval. Yeah. Uh, I want, if somebody murdered one of our kids for anything like that, it'd be absolutely mad and all that type of thing. But, when it comes to the actual pulling the lever, I don't think... Uh, I'm, I'm, I think what they ought to do is be put in prison and put with ordinary prisoners. That it'd be enough for them. Mm -hmm. well, if anybody murdered my kids or messed about my kids, then I'm afraid I would, I would commit murder because if I went in prison for something where I'd done towards my children, I think I'd be a, a, a martyr, I'd be great. Because I think there are people in the past being hung and then found out they weren't guilty and you can't bring them back. And there's been people recently being jailed for 50, being in jail about 10 years and they found out they were innocent and being, so they've lost all them years of their life, haven't they? So no, I don't believe in it. Depends on the crime. Mm -hmm. If it's bad enough, then I don't see why someone should get away with murder and then not get punished with their actions, if that makes sense. Did they get life in prison? Well, yeah, but they're still alive. Got parents at home with out there, like, son or daughter or whatever. It's not the same, is it? Mm -hmm. then, so if, if the murderer is put to death, then their parents are in the same position. Do you think that's fair? That's a good point. But they've committed the crime, we've got to deal with consequences. The parents didn't commit the crime. No, they didn't, but... I don't know how to respond to that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting, with, um, in South Africa, they abolished the death penalty in the 90s. Yeah. Like Post-apartheid, it was a sign of, liber of liberalism. Yeah. And Britain's a, supposed to be a liberal country. Yeah. And the other countries that still have death penalty are largely totalitarian, authoritarian. Yes. I, I don't really think that fits with, Brit with Britain. Yeah. What, do, what do you think? No, well, I, I, I still say, bring the death penalty back, not for everything, where it is a foregone conclusion that this guy mm. done it. He had eyewitnesses witnesses have done it and everything like that, and that's it. That's what you do. Mm. But when it's like when there's doubt or a hang, you don't give it this penalty. Do, do you do you think the, the justice system is infallible? No, it's not infallible. No. no. But it, so then there, there's, there's surely any conviction is can't be 100 percent correct. If, that, if the death penalty can never be infallible, yeah, then there's a lot of things that are 100 percent. Eh? Definitely. If I see somebody getting murdered here now. Mm. You get, that guy should be, uh, I'm a, he's been guilty, he should be hung, mm. end of story. But then what if you lied and said it was the guy next to him? No, no nobody can lie. If, you, if I see something, I'm gonna, I'll stand my man, mm. you know, and that's it. You said, you said off camera, but you're, you're a traditional Labour man. Um, oh, yes. But you don't vote anymore? I didn't vote last time because I'm a Labour man and uh, somebody obviously must have voted for Lee Anderson for him to get as our MP. Mm. And I uh, was very, very shocked. I was really shocked. You know, because we've always been a Labour mm. stronghold, this is around here. I don't vote. Really? You know, I'm, I'm one of these. Um, I didn't even vote to come out of Brexit. <clears throat> I mean, I, I wanted to stay in, you know, Brexit. Mm. In Europe, I wanted to stay in Europe because it's, it helps me out as well. Because I, I sing quite a lot abroad mm. and stuff. You know, so uh, now, obviously, we're out of Europe. It's it's difficult, you know, you can only go to Europe for 90 days and you've got to come back to England for 90 days before you can go back to Europe for 90 mm. days. It's just, it's just, I think as soon as we left Brexit, a lot of things went downhill in England. Yeah. I think Lee Anderson should be concentrating on states at roads. 
especially about we've had a cycle lane put in. I've not seen one cycle go down it yet. But, well, I, I don't stand there all the time, obviously. <laughs> but uh, round the corner, there's a terrible pothole, and it's just got worse and worse over the years. Somebody's going to end up mm. having an accident there, you know, and it's all about clickbait, you know, death penalty, boats coming in. And, you, and I speak for people, it, it doesn't speak for me. I'd rather we just concentrated and yeah. actually, you know, so no.